Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I am going to show you how you can choose columns in a table dynamically. So here I can choose as many columns as I want in my table and do my analysis. So keep watching this video to know how it's done. Let's begin the tutorial. So here I have financial table in my model and the first thing what I will do is I will go to transform data and I will duplicate this table and rename it as financials pivot now I will choose columns whatever I want in my visual so I will unselect these and uh, select segment and country you can choose uh, other columns as well but i want only these two dimension columns and uh, from metric columns unit sold manufacturing price sales price gross sales sales cogs and profit let's load this so now i will have to unpivot the metric columns so i will select segment and country right click and do unpivot other columns so it's unpivoted and we have got two columns attribute and value in attribute we have all the metric values what we have chosen i will rename this as field let's load this so it has been loaded we don't have to use this financial table i will use this financial pivot only so let's take a matrix and from here i will choose country segment in the rows whereas in columns i will choose the unpivoted field and in values i will choose the value column now let's do some formatting now let's choose a slicer in the report so i will choose a slicer and add this field column into the slicer so in slicer settings i will turn off the multi select with control click as i want to select multiple columns uh, for my visual yeah so it's done so now if i want to show only sales i can show that and if i want to show multiple columns i can do that also so this is how you can select columns dynamically in a grid that was it for this video if you like my video like the video if you want to watch my future videos you can subscribe my channel thank you